Now, for the last several years, we've been hearing about cloud, 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 and especially from the lips of people who are really big in the what we used to call the bandwidth business. Yep. Why is that? I think cloud, it's, it's number one component in its architecture is fiber. And so if you're in the fiber space, it's a great time to be here. And I think uh, the last few years when we come to these conferences, everything's been mobile, everything's been wireless. And I think you're seeing a shift now with big data back to the reality that you need big pipes around the world. And, and so it, if guys like us love this space. And it's, uh, it's a lot like what we were seeing in the late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, when, when Don't you saw say that. <laughs> you, no, I, mean, no, I think I this is different. That. This is different. But I think we're, uh, reality is we're, we're back to sort of one of those explosive growth phases that we saw like in the late 90s. Mm -hmm. Now obviously, content and video is really driving demand on those pipes. But the, the way we do computing has yeah. changed. How does that contribute? Well, I think, I think what, what's happened is the advent of virtualization has, has really moved computing to where enterprises no longer build data centers. They rent data centers, right? So, and enterprises no longer put in an office, they don't have raised floor. They actually use somebody else's raised floor, you know, a mile away. And I think this is really the change that we're seeing right now in terms of the economies of scale that they get in the compute space and our sector now participating in that, which is, uh, we, we never really participated in the compute industry. Mm -hmm. We're now in the computer industry. We're in the software industry. I mean, it's, it, that's, that's why you're seeing growth. It's because we're, we're capitalizing on other markets that are very, very large, and they're actually, we're now software companies, we're now computer companies. And I think this is a big change, I think, for telecom companies. Now, with that change is going to come a increase in the addressable market, and I'm guessing it's a pretty big change. How do you evaluate oh, I think I think it's phenomenal. I think, uh, you know, but there's going to be losers and there's going to be winners in this. I mean, uh, I think if you don't play in that space, you lose. Uh, so if you don't really have a cloud strategy today, you're going to struggle in the next five years because I think the, the market is changing very, very quickly. Wide area networks are changing very, very quickly. And if you actually don't get in line with things and you don't have a software defined network strategy, you're dead. So I think uh, it, it's an interesting space. Uh, and I think there's going to be some great winners and some great losers in this. Mm -hmm. So devices like smartphones, I use Chromebooks all yeah. the time. So every time I put keystrokes down, they're traversing the network, yes. the remote server. So I don't even have my bits traversing to my hard drive. They go yeah. right out in the cloud immediately. Is yeah. that the sort of thing we're talking about? Yeah, well, I, I mean, the cool thing is you. Okay, you know, a nice middle class guy. It, it, which, aside right. from that. Yeah, but but think, about, <laughs> think about the billion Indians, yeah. uh, the yeah. billion Chinese, that never could afford compute power because it was too expensive, it was too far, it was a bridge too far. They're now going to be on the internet. You think about it, you, the, the next two billion users can get on the internet because of this new world of cloud computing. And I think that's the, the space that people are missing, which is where a lot of the growth is going to come is emerging markets where you're actually going to have new users on the internet. And finally we found a way to get them there, which is a $300 or $200 flat screen with a compute in the back, you essentially, you know, in, in a remote location, you know, we can bring a small village onto, onto the internet, which we couldn't do before. Right, right. Now, in terms of virtualization, business implications, how does that change what you have to do in terms of your strategy? Well, I think the interesting thing is CIOs now don't build infrastructure. They rent infrastructure. So the important thing is to have all the infrastructure players on your network. In the past, it used to be, oh, I'm going to be a data center provider, and I'm going to play in that space and have a network. What's important now is to have all the virtualized guys on your network. And that's the most important thing, to have that ecosystem connected to you. It's no longer as important to own the end uh, infrastructure, so to own the data centers and the pops. The key thing is actually to be connected to everybody. And that's a, that's a very, very big change, I think, for telcos, because we like to be infrastructure players, and the stuff at the endpoints is not going to be us. It's going to be somebody else. And I think that's the thing that we've got to get used to because those guys are faster, more nimble, and they're going to play in that space, and we're going to be a transport mechanism. And we're going to make a lot of money doing it, but it's going to be a, it's a different world we're going to. Yeah, so my last question is, <clears throat> does it matter where on your network all these servers and all these enterprise customers are located? Is it better if they're co-located and, and ch close together, or can they be at the opposite ends of your well, transoceanic network? I think I think what what cloud does is it globalizes the compute industry, and it you know there's there's guys like Amazon and Microsoft that are playing there, but I think you're going to come back here in this forum in five years, and you're going to see 25 or 30 other players in that space. And I think the interesting thing about the model is there's no barriers to entry. Okay, anyone can come into this new virtual world. It's a software-defined network, so it's building software and applications, which is no no one has ownership of that. The reality is that so uh, this is going to be the new age of entrepreneurship entrepreneurs, new concepts coming up very, very quickly. So I think we're going to see a nice fun year, four or five years here, where we're actually going to see a nice nice growth path 
in a new internet. Uh, that, you know, when we start talking about it, it won't be cloud in five years. It'll be a new internet that we're going to talk about. So it's an exciting time. I think we're, we're probably in one of the funnest periods that we're going to see in this industry for a long time. Bill, thanks very much. Thanks, Always Gary. appreciate hearing from you.